What's going on, y'all? So lit. Queen Sugar, y'all. <laughs> Queen Sugar. I don't even need to do like a full ass video because the majority of the video, the majority of the episode was in one spot. It was literally taking over what happened from you know the revelation about Ralph Angel being um, the sole owner or the land being left to Ralph the farm. Okay, so you know people was trying my patience on Twitter, trying to make it seem some stuff that it really ain't. All right, you know, this episode was so fucking deep and emotional because none of the I'm just I'm just upset that it went this way because before they revealed this whole thing about, you know, Ralph being the land, the farm being left to Ralph or whatever, Vi did say a few episodes ago when he showed him, when he showed her the letter that what was going on? Are you sure when you let this out, you have to be ready for the consequences and ready for the drawback that's going to happen. Vi already knew. And we found out why Vi knew. Vi knew this because Nova went and, you know, looked up some stuff and found out that, you know, at one point, Vi and Ernest, their father and her, they both own parts of this land and she sold her part. As she said, she sold her part when she was 17 years old because she ran off with a no good nigga. Um, because she ran off with this boy, this man got married to him. He was a crackhead, all this stuff. Ernest and her had this issue. They weren't talking to each other when the mom died. You know, it was hard being at the funeral because she felt like she lost her brother and her father, um, her mother, you know, their mother. And, you know, at one point, they did come back together, and he helped her out, get what was hers from Jimmy, who was the guy, and, you know, she sold the land, her part in it, and she was like, she'll do it again, because at the end of the day, all the stuff that happened at the end of this whole land thing, it got her closer back to her brother. He apologized for his part in it. She apologized and everything, and see, what it's showing is, once again, history is repeating itself. History repeated itself by showing that Ernest and um, Violet, they had a little disagreement and were divided. Siblings divided by this goddamn land. And now, once again, the land is about to divide the freaking um, next generation. Charlie, Nova, and uh, Ralph Angel. Now, see, this is where all of them got me fucked up. And I'm including Ralph, okay? Y'all know how I feel about Ralph. So, you know, this ain't no bias or whatever. This ain't no... I just felt like, you know, I really... Part of the... Only one part I was like, Ralph, you need to stop this bullshit. You really need to stop this bullshit. Come up off your high horse and do this stuff. Okay? With all this mess that's going on, Charlie does get a phone call from Remy saying that some guy wanted to, you know... um do his stuff at the mill and all that shit, but he didn't sign a regular contract. He wasn't one of the farmers that was in the pack that they had. And Remy was like, I can vouch for him. I can let him do this stuff. Charlie was like, um, that's all good and well, but I want to do this stuff the legal way. And, um, so we're going to have him sign these contracts. She went in there and told Darla to go to the office and draw the contracts up or get the shit and get it over there to him so he can sign and all this shit so we can have his legal paperwork. Um... Ralph got in his feelings and said, you ain't going nowhere. Don't go nowhere. I need you to be here with me and all this stuff. And I'm sitting here like, um, Ralph, I get you in your feelings and I get you feel like, so you trying to get her to go? Because if you go over there, that means that you picking a side with them. And I, so y'all all can gain up on me. I said, first of all, Ralph, Ralph. They been ex uh, Darla out this situation. They said, bitch, she ain't family. Well, she blew mama and she my lady. I said, come on, Ralph. Listen, listen, baby, baby. What did I tell you almost two episodes in? Like, listen, we need a three-income household, okay? Ain't nobody finna be up in here not working if we adults, all right? So, therefore, let Darla come out there and give her, get her money, all right? That does not mean that she don't support you, she's not loyal to you, or whatever. She needs a job, okay? The farm ain't making money yet. 
Y'all ain't put no, y'all just put the crops in. Y'all had some issue with the um, white flies and all that stuff being on the shit. You got to let her go out there and do what she needs to do. That does not mean she is picking a side. She is doing her job, okay? That is what she needs for her recovery. And for you to get pissed off over that because you and your feelings because of the way they treat you, I understand you feel a little bad or whatever and you feel ganged up on. I get that. But let that lady do what she got to do. She got to provide for our child. All right, you know she she can't she what, what, get get out your feelings with this situation. All right, and I know it's raw, and I'm thinking he gonna get over it. She do go ahead and leave, but at the end of the episode, we see her come back, and he wouldn't even let her in the house. I said, so you finna fucking break up with her and all this stuff, and only let her see blue like she used to be seeing blue. Pick him up and take him here and take him there, and then drop him back off, and she gotta go and all that shit. He was like, they weren't even here for you. When I when when I wanted you here, they ain't give a fuck about you. I was the one that I said, if you don't get out your bitch ass feelings right now, I'm sorry, I don't care what nobody said. I thought he was being a little punk. I thought he was being a little pussy. Okay. And y'all know I wouldn't talk down to my my boo-boo like that. But you know, when you love somebody, you gotta tell them the truth. Listen, I have a real ass crush on Ralph Angel on oh, Kofi. I don't know what the fuck it is. Like, bitch, it is fucking with me. Like you know, grapefruit. Oh my God! If y'all seen girl, I said two of them, and he got stuck in the pee pee hole. I said, Jada, what the fuck you in there doing? Me and him said, bitch, what type of old school shit is this? Anyway, anyway, okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. But you know, he was all up in his feelings, and I said, Ralph, you need to calm down. And I understand emotions are high, and he do feel ganged up on, like he don't have nobody on his side. But in this instant, they don't give a shit about what Darla gotta say. So technically, you still don't have. It's still you against them too. Okay, so I just thought that was a little much, and he was overreacting, just like when he did with um, you know, he hemmed up Michael on the wall. Michael on the wall. Oh my God! Speaking of Micah. Did y'all see the preview for the mid-season finale next week? He went over there to David's house, and Davis was like, Micah, what happened to you? And then after they did the preview, you know, he was just like this, and just like breaking down. And I'm sitting here like, I'm just thinking the worst. Because then they did the mid-season. They had, I guess they're going to be having a little viewing party, and they sitting there holding hands and saying this is the most powerful and the most shocking. Oh, my God. I, I can't, I can't, like, if something really happened, you know, I went in on him a little bit, but if some, I, something, something really happened to Micah, what? I hope they really didn't do nothing to him. Like, that is a nice little boy. He shared to this fuck, but that is a nice little, what y'all do to him? Why you do that to him? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, my feelings, like, this whole episode just had me all up in my goddamn feelings. Like, I was mad as fuck. Like, you know, y'all mistreating folks up in here, and it ain't even like that, okay? So, everybody is pissed off. Emotions are on high. And then we get to the base of what it is. Ralph feel as though they judging him. They always judged him, looked at him, you know, because he's the ignorant, dumb convent brother. Like, Nova kept putting it out there. You did something that got your ass locked up, okay? We know you did it. And I get where Ralph is coming from. I'm out. I'm trying to make a change. You want me, like she said, grow up and show up. He's trying to grow up. He's trying to show up. And that's all he's been doing. He's been taking the necessary steps, all right? Yes, he had a couple of missteps when he got out by robbing that store. He robbed that store to give money to Vi for babysitting um, Blue and to give money to the daddy. But Vi wouldn't take it, okay? So it's not like he was just mooching off the father. He was trying to do something, and he was trying to get work or whatever, you know, and, and do his shit the legal way. He finally finds work, okay? And then he's not only getting work there and doing work at that warehouse, he's also working on the farm. So he's doing a lot of stuff. It's not like he's just sent back. And then, yes, his job at the warehouse got jeopardized because he got forced into doing some wrong shit. They started, you know, they made him do that stuff. Okay, he was going to lose his job and he needed that to write the shit down for the parole. You know, he needed that for his parole, his probation. And so that shit got shut down. So now... 
somehow since the farm became more viable of an option to start working and y'all hiring people that became a prime source of income or you know a job that can be looked at and charlie can sign off on because they was making the meal so now he is working his way on trying to do better he is growing we see him going out there talking to remy trying to look at different avenues to get money so he won't have to depend on charlie we know he's broke technically all of them kind of are charlie if it wasn't for davis charlie wouldn't have shit and i'm pretty sure charlie don't have it like she trying to act like okay because at any moment in time davis can snatch that shit all right all he had to do was call his lawyer and snatch it all because she did for your signature and she know he knows he can snatch it anytime he want. He got that carrot dangling over her head. And he pissed off because now he done found out that this bitch gonna go ahead and tell the um reporter about them divorcing and deviating from the plan without telling him. And see, Remy was coming at her at the end of the episode about how this reporter's out here stalking them or whatever. She was like, no, I told him to do that. Um, I told him I'd give him the story about me divorcing Davis and all this stuff and you know, in exchange for him just uh, doing some stuff about the meal and leaving, you know, controlling the narrative. That's what she said. And Remy was like, you know, when your dad used to talk about you, you said that um, Charlie was something. I can't remember what the word is, but it was a nice word. And then he said, now I'm thinking that or too smart for this, or too this, or too special, or something like that. He's Either way, he said, now I'm thinking that maybe that's not really what he meant. He probably meant that you was calculating. Calculating. And if you look at the shit that Charlie has done, Charlie is a control freak, and Charlie is calculating. If you want to look at it that way, if it don't go her way, she will figure out a way to make it go her way. That whole situation with Davis, you know, she got him down there to New Orleans, all right, to stay down there. She got that um, teammate to come down there by doing a little bit of blackmail herself. She got that stripper to, you know, take the deal and not press charges against him and go all to the public. She got uh, uh, the, the, the farmers to get over there on her side and all that shit. She's done a lot of things okay whether it's good or bad she's very calculating she knows what she's doing and she's a control freak okay so of course remy is like not liking this side and she told him to get out remy kind of read her her um you know told her about herself and sometimes we don't like our truth being thrown in our faces okay and that's all they was doing with um you know ralph i i really wasn't feeling it because I felt like they were literally ganging up on him as if he's the only one that had problems. As if, you know, he was the main source of heartache and issues for the father. Yes, he messed up. Yes, he had some, you know, things. But he was the baby boy. Baby boys, especially, they always get a lot of attention. Especially from their mother, you know. And Nova tried to throw that up. And then he was like, listen. She said, from day one, it was always about you. It was about you, about you. He said, first of fucking all... I had to live with the fact that my mama, I was 10 years old when my mama died. And then it said that, um, don't worry because I have a big sister that'd be just like my mom. You know, why you trying to clown me? He always looked up to her in a certain way, but you was never there. Okay. As soon as she passed away, you left, you left. And that's the whole thing. They all getting pissed off at him for being back at the farm and assuming that the dad is giving him this, um, farm because he can't get his life straight or whatever and because he keep getting locked up and to pay for him no the day or going and working and cleaning toilets or whatever if you go back to season one the farm wasn't making money period that is the reason why the daddy had to go out and get another job his pride he didn't want to tell them what was going on that's why he was calling charlie and everything but charlie wouldn't come down there charlie didn't even grow up on the farm she on the farm she came down there as we learned she came down there during the summer sometimes she didn't even sleep on the farm she slept at Val house you know what i'm saying so so you getting in your feelings about who owns this farm and who it was left at, but you're getting mad at the wrong person. And the person that you probably should take up the issue with is the dad, but he's not here for that. So the next target is the person he left the farm to, and that's Ralph Angel. And so, you know, you feel like he's not mature enough. No, he's not mature enough to, um, you know, uh, do the farm by himself. Y'all automatically, and that's what irked me, because even Vi said, you know, that I think one of them said something about 
well, he didn't file this. So maybe he was um waiting for them, waiting for you to mature and then give it to you, whatever. And I feel like that's what probably was going to happen. But things didn't work out that way, you know, and he just so happened to pass away and it got left to Ralph. OK, and technically that's what it is. All right. But they're not here for it because they feel like he don't deserve it or Honestly, they feel like, well, damn, I didn't even get a consideration because they each had their separate issues with their father. All right. That's what it is. Nova had an issue with her dad for the simple fact that the dad kept on asking her, when you going to get married? When you going to get married? Going to have some kids. And then she said, all of a sudden, Charlie had a child. And then Blue had uh, came along and it's like he stopped asking her. You know, she has an issue with her father. OK, that's why they didn't get along. She never really came over there. And you was 20 miles away. You left. You never visited the farm. So now all of a sudden that he passed, you take interest in the farm and you get in your feelings because he left it to Ralph Angel. And Ralph Angel is the one that's actually there doing a whole bunch of the work. You're not there every day like he is, okay? And then, Charlie, you don't even live there. You was out there in California. You never really stayed at the farm. You, No one knows nothing about farming, so we can't use that excuse. Oh, what you going to do? You don't know this. You don't know that. There are avenues and ways that you can get money. Just like he reached out, Remy told him how to get that loan, to get that money for the cane and all that stuff. What happened? He did that, and he got that loan legally all right so he's doing stuff he said he's trying to get educated on um taking some classes and all that shit they bypassed all that they bypassed all that they really think like he's gonna fuck this up and never not once did he ever say that he was gonna let them go from being on the farm and just do it all by himself he just said Daddy technically left the farm to me. He never said, so that means y'all gonna have to go. You ain't got to worry about it or nothing. They jumped on him and automatically assumed to that conclusion that they were no longer invited on that farm because of something. I don't know why did they do that, but that's what happened. And then when they asked him to let it go or whatever, he said no. He said no. He's not going to let the farm go, okay? Okay. And Charlie asking, well, um, so if you don't have no funding, how you going to do this? I said, so you going to be petty and pull the funding away too? I said, he didn't even say you couldn't be on the farm. Y'all just automatically jumped to that conclusion. And I hate the way that they doing this. Like, if no one is really trying to hear anyone out, okay, and Vi is trying to help them, but they just not, they just not hearing it. And I honestly feel like Charlie... You only down there because of the situation with your father, but also because of the fact that you are getting a divorce from your husband. Let's be clear about that. Do you really think Charlie would be down there worried about this farm if she and Davis were still on the up and up and still good as husband and wife? No, she would still be up in California. She would have came down for the funeral to handle some of the um, work thing. And if he would have left that farm to her, nine out of 10, she probably would have tried to sell, uh, sell the farm. Okay. You can't tell me no different. You cannot tell me no different because that was not what she had in her plan in her life. Cause she still would have been trying to manage Davis. She ain't got time to manage no farm. Let's be honest. The only one I feel like, I honestly feel like the daddy left the farm to Ralph as a way for him to develop his legacy, you know, to give him something to look forward to, you know, to do. Not just because he felt pity for him or he felt he couldn't do nothing or whatever. Nova has already chosen her path in life. Charlie has her stuff in life. What did Ralph really have? He had the farm because that's all he known. Even when he got out before he went in, he had the farm. He was the only one that was always down there and he saw the potential. That's what I feel like. Do I feel like they don't, they need to be doing this? No, they don't. They need to come together. I love the fact that they all came together and they was working to get everything up and running and they need that unity. They need that cohesiveness to come back. Okay. And just let this bullshit go. Because like I said, never not once did Ralph say that y'all can't be on a farm and we can't do this together. They automatically assume that. That's why this conversation is going on. 
And I was just like, y'all making him cry. He was melting like a little chocolate milk dug and everything. And I said, no, this is, this is, it was really hurting my heart to see him just messed up like that. Cause I really couldn't reach out and touch him and, you know, just rock him like and stroke him and be like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But I get where everybody's frustration is coming from, but I feel like they putting so much on him and they're trying to emphasize his mistakes and, you know, oh, you're young and you're mature. You ain't got no money. You can't do this. You don't know how to do that. But y'all didn't know how to do it either. Y'all also young and immature when it comes to this subject too. Y'all was learning together and y'all was growing together. How come y'all can't keep doing that? Okay. Y'all tell me y'all feelings on this. I'm ready to hear. All right. No, I'm not being biased, but that's just how I see. Even if they were gaining up, if they would have put Charlie in Ralph's position, I still would have felt the same way. You can't get mad at the fact that the dad left it to a certain person. You know, Charlie feels like, you know, she just was left behind or whatever. But y'all tell me how y'all feel, okay? You know, and, and, and it's funny because this stuff happens a lot. It happens a lot, and it's unfortunate, and that money and land and stuff like this it does break up bonds and stuff and i just hate it i want them to put the pettiness aside and to come back together okay ralph don't be a bitch to darla no more i just can't wait till next week because if something really happened to micah marla ain't gonna be able to take it like anyway y'all tell me how y'all feel and i'll see y'all later peace